Before this video does begin, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider leaving a like and sub as I put a ton of effort into making it. Thank you. Whenever you play solo, regardless of how lucky your start was or insane your wipe may have been, you'll find yourself time and time again getting tested on the same things. To name a few, Perseverance, Persistence, Patience, the list goes on. And let me tell you, if there's ever been a solo wipe out there that has brought me to the point where I just wanted to What, you thought I didn't have a parachute? Of course I had a chute, no solo wipe has ever bested me. But I'm sure you get the idea, if there's ever been a solo wipe out there, out of all those that I've experienced, this one for sure challenged me the most. Now, contrary to what you may believe, this wipe, unlike all my other ones, doesn't start out on the island or extinction for the Notran, but rather Lost Island, as I had a different plan in mind. Now this is, this is starting to look a little bit more like it, I, I like this, it's like a little, you know, hidden, just hidden in the side here. Uh, maybe not place that right there, oh, I gotta, I guess I gotta place this a little bit better, uh, yeah, this, this ain't too bad whatsoever. Let's get our refining forges down. We want these to start smelting metal immediately. Quiet us. Now is not the time. Alright. Boom. 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 Whilst I waited for the metal to smelt, I began exploring, and although I did not plan for this, I could not resist it either. No way, that's a Sonoma crop all the way over here. Now that's a sign, brother. That right there is a sign if I've ever seen one. I need chitin, I have to find chitin. Like I said, I did not plan for this, but seeing as the opportunity presented itself, I sure as hell was not going to pass it up. There's the creature. Cinomacrops. Cinomacrops. Here, buddy. Hey, what's up? Our first Cinomacrops. <laughs> Literally, my favorite team in the game. I don't think there's a team I enjoy more than this one right now. The one that came with the new Lost Island DLC. If you ask me, it was a good use of my time. And see as I now had enough metal to make the maiming saddle, began searching for one. What is this? Is that is that ra oh my that is raised. A level 36 lightning wipe and did I forget to mention I was a few days late into wipe, meaning I had a lot to do before catching up with the competition. Oh my god. Oh, I'm on a level 50 equipment this. I don't stand. No, the maiming! I've been searching for so long. Please jump away, brother. Please escape, yes. Escape, maiming, please. No, aloes, don't chase him. Not like this. I think the, the days are friend. He must have taken quite the beating, you can see it. But he's a strong one. He's a strong one, I tell you. Alright. We're just gonna trap him. It's always easier said than done. I place three. Th <laughs> I place quite a few bulbs with only one places. No. I will get this.
and use this for like extra protection so it doesn't and then as extra double protection triple protection protection we have to add that we have to add that and that that's just like to ensure this may wing is ours and ain't nobody gonna be taking our may wing should knock out yeah these things i've noticed that that's actually kind of cool the one thing i really like about them they knock out so quick in comparison to well a lot of the teams they are they are fairly decent sized team i'm not gonna lie they're not the smallest team of oh yeah i forgot we have the sonoma crops <laughs> we can easily just jump oh man sometimes you'll be playing in first person for so long you you don't realize what's on the back of your back you know what i'm saying all right there we go maywing should tame up beautiful let's go our first maywing of the wipe let's get it a saddle oh look at this thing obviously stats aren't gonna be anything crazy for a maywing as i mean it is a low level but at least we have a maywing Tames wise, that was everything I needed to set up in my desired base location, but seeing as I was short one resource, I headed over to Valguero to grab it. With the cementy paste acquired, that was everything I needed to set up a base on my desired map, Genesis. And, seeing as it was home to one of my favorite Tames, the Bloodstalker, decided to grab one just before arriving at my new base location. Oh, there we are. The most sneakiest base spot in all of space. The Lunar Biome. Now has anyone taken it? No, no one's taken it. Let's go, man. The base spot was clear and I could begin setting it up. My base was now secure, as secure as it could be with a wooden door, and for now would have to do as I was in dire need of a few essential resources. Okay, there's the player right there. If he... Okay, it's a level 80 Bloodstalker, but the thing is, those Bloodstalkers with Primitive Black, they deal so much damage. I think he might be AFK. I could rush in... Oh. He's looking around. Oh, man. Look how many forges he has. Oh, my... Yeah, he, he is moving. If he just hops on that Stalker... What is my guy? <laughs> He's punching the air. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah, the thing is he has a fabricator as well, which is which scares me a bit because he could get turrets up. I could just go in there and jump him. I could. Ah. I think I might be the play here. I don't want to make too much noise though. Because then he'll start to get skeptical. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to swing up here. Okay, those forges are pretty loud though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, looks like he's currently filling his forges or collecting metal from each one of them. Oh, he just hopped on his stalker. I need to hide. Is he going to leave his base? He just lifts his base, it's go time. Come on Fabricator, go down. Okay, we got whatever resources it had. Oh, smithy bag. No, it's motor and pistol. Okay, a little bit of profit. I mean, all of this is technically profit because 
Picnic. Oh my god, nothing in there. Nah, these forges, they barely had anything. Well, those ones were cooking, these ones. Okay, nothing really in there. Not exactly the metal I was hoping for, but with the resources I got from the fabricator, plus those farmed, would be more than enough for now. So, I returned back to Genesis, and little did I know at the time, was being watched. Clueless as I was, I lay down in my bed, as I did have to go to the gym. You know, the thing in life, you know, you, you, you're gonna get it down. But the important thing is to always get back up and... You always gotta get back up. It's unfortunate. So what you got raided, okay. Did you have defenses? Did you bother to put up turrets? No, you didn't. So what did you expect, you know? You always just gotta pull yourself back up. It's not... It's, it's, it's not something, oh, I got raided. I'm gonna give up now. You, you gotta get back up. You gotta fight for what's yours. Oh, my wipes ruined. I got raided because of... No, it's not because of that guy. It's because of you. You didn't put in the effort, the time into your base. And look what happened. Look at you now. Naked. The important thing, my friends, is to always get back up. Never give up. Ooh, what's this? Is someone's base? No way! Oh, I can't get inside. The place is right there. Alright, first things first, we gotta take care of the competition. We have to assert our dominance in the area. And in order to do so, we will need some arrows. Here we go. Wait, what? The player I plan to assert my dominance on was no more. Uh... Bobet? Bobet was nothing more than a decomposed bag filled with default survivor item skins. Not the way you want to go, but I think it's obvious who had dealt the deed. Wolf. He lived in a stone compound with two bloodstalkers inside. Now, I didn't have the things to raid him just yet, so I got a quick base up nearby geared up, and hit it out to grab my first Bloodstalker. Come on, Stalker. This could be so huge right here. Let's go, come on. Coming out of the trenches, taming a level 85 Bloodstalker. Let's go, man. This is so huge. That's a play on a Bloodstalker. They're gonna see me. They're gonna come for me. They are gonna come for me. I need to hop on this. And then I need to hop out. Ooh, we are quick with it. We are absolutely quick with it. Lovely stuff. Alright, we got our first stalker. That's huge. With the bird stalker tamed, I shortly after headed over to the lava biome to grab some oil, as it was the only resource I was missing to make the grenades needed to raid Wolf. No way. I think this guy is transferring out the base owner. I think it's him. Let him transfer though. Okay, now I can go. I might have a second to look at him. Tribe of Wolf, he just did. Damn, he's level 101. Oh man. I'm only short a few gunpowder and I'll be able to raid his base. With Wolf gone, now is my chance to strike. I just needed to finish making the grenades. Alright, and the best part is he literally just left. Just like the aberration raid earlier. My other guy, he just left. And then we were able to strike. Alright, we have grenades. Let's put that there. I'm not going to kill his team because he does. He has created a tribe and I'm pretty sure it will appear on his screen. Uh, I guess we're going to have to test if the stalker is on neutral or not. Hopefully it ain't because... Raiding this would be a bit more complicated, to say the least. No, it is, bro. 
I'm probably going to have to kill that. What level is it? Oh, no, no. It's 76. I can kill it. Sure, I could kill it. But this meant I'd only have a few minutes before the owner came back. Okay, we're going to have to be quick. We're going to have to kill the stalker. Then he's going to get alerted. And then immediately after we kill the stalker, we just got to start tossing grenades at his base. Okay, his stalker is about to go down any second now. Boom. That's his alarm though. That right there is the alarm. Okay, I'm going to hop with my stalker on top of his base. So my stalker doesn't take damage from the grenade. Okay, two grenades at a time. Uh, Overcommitted with the grenades a bit. Alright, I tossed the grenade in there just to deal in general damage. Come on, let's break it to the smithy. Don't have any more explosives, so... What I could do, it's risky, but I could toss my stalker inside here. And I can destroy all of this and profit all of this. I think I'm, I might just have to do that to speed things up. Okay, smithy, we're in. Oh my god, 1000 bits or 2000 pace. A fertilized blood stalker egg. Oh my god. No way. No freaky way, bro. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna break open this and then I'm gonna get my stalker in. Yeah, I will have to wait a cry timer. Oh my, this guy was a farmer. Farmer Brown. Now, before crying my stalker, uh, let me level some stam, some health. I'm just gonna keep watch so this guy can anytime return. So I'm just gonna be like a snake. I'm just gonna watch because obviously I have 125 seconds to wait or crouch. Right. Okay. So the, so the stalker egg, okay, it's bad because it's not good, but it's good because we know the stalker that he's currently using is at level 68. Which one did I kill? Let me check tribe log. I killed, your tribe killed, blood stalker level 76. Okay, no, so I killed the lower level, but that means he's roaming on a level 80. So that's not, it's not the greatest. I think we are blood stalker. 1.8k ingots though. That is huge. Let's freaking go, man. Oh, we have to. Uh... Can I do this? Oh, I guess uh, I can't right now because I'm latched on with the Bloodstalker. I just got to focus though. If I can get what... There's the player. He just came back to his base. Come on. I want to pull him out. The thing is, his Bloodstalker might pull me immediately when I pull him out. Come on, give me the pick. Give it to me. Why is it not giving me the pick on him? Are you kidding me? No way, bro. For whatever reason, I couldn't get the pick, and seeing as it was pointless chasing him, I returned back to the base. I want- I, I'm not even sure if the Bloodstalker can fit inside here. No way. The Bloodstalker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna make Destroy the Forges much, much quicker. I must say the point of view is... Ah, uh, yeah, it seems, uh... Our friend here has to has taken, but that's the, I don't know. I find that a bit like a bit weird, and the reason I say that is because he the forges were still running, even though he wait 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 they could be on top of the base. No, like I just don't understand how that makes any sense because the forges were running, but they don't have anything inside of them. It was whatever, as the resources I had gotten in return far exceeded the cost to raid the base itself. And seeing as I was building up a rather large stash of loot, I decided to grab most of what I had from my starter and use a mission station to upload it, as I wanted to see if I could continue this early game raiding spree, but just on a different map. Oh man, I just found what would be the juiciest raid target right now for what I have. 
But the only issue, the only thing standing in my way, is that auto turret, and I'm pretty sure it will shoot me. Uh, oh man, this is so scary. They have so many like heavies and other things above. Yep, 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 yep. That auto turret will shoot me like there's no tomorrow. Oh man. Like one thing I could pull off is a C, uh, the old C spin. Uh, I could, but then I'd have to get a PT. Also gonna have to find a rocket launcher, that sort of thing. As of yet, I didn't have the items to raid the base, so I continued my scouting. My man's PT is just chilling here. He has a fabricator and everything though. Oh wait, this is so free right now. This could actually be exactly what I need to make the explosives to raid that other base I came across earlier. Let's destroy the beds. Fabricator first. 52 gunpowder. Nothing insane, but I'll take it. Some paste. Come on, if we can get some. Oh my god, Woolly Rhino Cryote. I what level wyvern egg? 180 lightning <laughs> No way! 180 lightning wyvern egg. That is insane. Okay, refining forge. Metal charcoal. Those are actually the only things I need to make gunpowder. A good bit of metal and charcoal. And thanks to this guy, I... Oh my god. If this raid... No, 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 no. There's no way. If I can have this raid lead me... No. This raid causes, gives me, because it does sort of give me almost, no wait, what, what, I, what am I saying? I just got a Pteranodon, a Pteranodon was a team that I said I needed in order to get rid of the auto turret beneath, because they have heavy turrets on top of their base, but they only have one auto turret beneath, if I get rid of that, I'm going to be in business, okay, I'm going to continue scouting, see if I can find any other opportunities. If I do not come across any other potential radio opportunities, I'm going to immediately... What is that? Okay, that's just a PT chilling. Anyways, oh, let me check. In the terrain, do I see any players? No. If I do not come across any radio opportunities, what I will do then is prepare immediately for that raid. Because if I can pull that raid off, that's going to be exactly what I need to set up my own, my very own bit. Another one. We have come across another one. Uh, in order to fit in here with a stalker, I believe you've got to go through this bottom entrance. Oh, that is not what you want to spawn. <laughs> That is just not what you want to spawn into. Oh my. What? Look at all the. They have 120 in each. 120 ingots in each of these. What? Moton pistol? Okay. I was hoping to see a bunch of gunpowder. Okay, polymer oil. Look at all this metal though. Holy cow. Was this so worth? I think I, I'm not sure how much ingots I just got, but it may very well be like close to enough for a forge. Let me grab all this. One, 2k metal plus. Look at all that farm. Oh my goodness. Nah, we have to pull off this raid. If we pull off I'm going to continue scouting. I'm going to see how much I can get right now. I'm going to continue. Because if I can pull this off, I'm going to be so, so set. I Now nah, I have to. I have to. It seems ever since I joined the center, did the stars begin to align for me. As although I did not have the things to raid the first target I had come across, I simply continued scouting. And because of it, now I had the very things to raid the base. So I found a hidden location to craft up the explosives and hid it over. My bloodstalker is going to hold all my belongings and the only thing I'm going to take from it 
This is Rocket Launcher. Uh, rocket Launcher, we have one rocket, so yeah, one attempt, that's all we get. Uh, let's put that there. Alright. This is P3. <laughs> Oh my god, if this, if this, if this works, bro. Okay, I think, I just want to try and see, okay, so that's where the auto turret is. I think I'm, I'm not even going to cease, but I'm just going to fly up. What? Wow. Somehow, a direct hit from a rock launcher left the turret standing. And not only that, but I was now left stuck, body soaking and auto. And as you can imagine, eventually started losing it. I probably knock myself out and something majestic, magical happens. Maybe somehow I'll glitch right into the generator room or I don't know. Fortunately enough for me, it didn't take too long until I came to my senses. What happens if I disconnect and reconnect? I'm curious. Okay, well, that solved the problem of how I get unstuck, but as far as whether or not the turret was soaked, judging by the sounds of shooting as I loaded in, not so much. However, to be certain, I did come back. Hmm. Definitely need to not soak the turret. Unfortunate has only had one attempt, but seeing as I couldn't do too much, continued my scouting. Hmm. Oh, plays online, okay. That's a hell of, uh, crazy amount of PTs. Oh my god. Lock him. How the- Oh my god. Oh, uh, hop in. Can my blood still fit? Oh, it can. I'm just gonna... Attack. His boots broke. His everything broke. Okay, we got all of his things. I believe we've destroyed the bed. I'm just gonna destroy the structures. I do not know how neither of those balls is connected, but hey, eh, all good. We were able to still take the play out. I know there was a. Okay, or or I think that we were about to get yep yeah, 40 ingots in each forge, and oh, 500 gunpowder. Oh my, 1k gunpowder we just have right now. Please, I, I swear I saw a fabricator. I may be mistaken. I swear I saw a fabricator though. Oh, 2k ingots. Two per oh my god. I, I just, I basically just need electronics right now. Sure, I failed one of the raids, but thanks to all the other successful hits, they made up for it and more making electronics the only resource I was missing to set up a base. And of course for that, extinction would be my next pit stop. So that was it, the final resource I needed to set up my main base, and seeing as there was a transfer station nearby, I used it to download all of my resources and structures that I had ready to build the main base. Once done, I began making my way over to the base location itself, and started to think, damn, did I really bring this wipe back? From getting raided, to raiding others, and becoming richer than I ever had been. I was so close. Just a few more space drifts and I'd be at the base spot. 
but knowing my fucking luck, it's never that straightforward. And exactly when I had timed out from the server, I thought, okay, I'll join back. Only problem, I couldn't. One minute, turn to five, turn to ten. For all I knew, some loot goblin motherfucker could have taken all my things and simply ran off. 30 minutes. 30 minutes had gone by and I was able to join. Only to fucking find. Now this is just unfortunate. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Literally everything. <laughs> I barely have anything to my name at this point. What? <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, I guess I have to be. Nah, like, I lost literally. I had the electronics, I had so much metal from raids. You know, I had everything going for me at a stage. And now look at me. I left with a few things, I guess you could say. Better than nothing, but I I was just about to get my base going and this happens. And damn, I swear every time I come to Genesis, something bad happens. Maybe it was Genesis, but then again, could it be something else? Maybe it's a sign. We have Connor. We have Bozo. Essentially, it tells us those that are level 19, look how they end up. And those that progress further, level 102, look how they end up. They're pretty much in the one second. We're essentially all in the same boat. All cloth. Some progress not as far, others further. But at, at the end of every day, where does it bring us to look in our upload, only to see lesser and lesser items? Ever since I got raided, I spent the entire day trying to make back whatever I had lost, only to find myself at the very end of it in the same position in which I started. It was a tough pill to swallow, but when I woke up the next morning, I tried to apply the same values I use in real life to Ark. Every single time I get hit down, I get back up and keep on moving. So, I was back in the trenches, taming bloodstalkers, farming in forces for electronics, and raiding bases, just so that I'd have enough to set up some measly solo base. You know, almost every time I come to this spot, I feel... I feel like the game is trying to tell me something at this point. Uh... So this, I found this here. And it's just outside the entrance of the spot I want to build in. Now, my plan was to defend the spot with... The three heavy turrets I have, but here I see... A... Chandelier of sorts. And it has way more heavy turrets than what I was planning to defend the spot was with. Yet it has been raided. Now, that's not very reaffirming, especially for someone that's interested in setting up in the spot. Uh, I think I might have to do a little bit of a homework. I did download most of my things onto me right now. So I am in no shape or form to PvP. One thing I would like to check though, is there ARB in here? Because if it is... A good amount, I'm going to... Oh, no way. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Oh, it just could be they were lazy. Oh, didn't have the explosives to blow it up. Please be a good amount. If this is a good amount of ARB, it's going to be so nice. I did craft up a bit. Oh my, these not so... What? Holy cow. Look, so... I had about 200 ARB. Thanks to these heavies over here, I'm going to get way more. Uh, and I'm definitely blowing up all of these. It's gonna probably cost me another 2c4. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can blow up three heavies with one. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. That's that's interesting. Oh my. Ah. Now this is just crazy. This what? Okay, I'm definitely gonna blow these up. So one thing that I have at the back of my head, I really want to live in space. Like that's something I do want to do. So maybe I'm gonna have to do a little bit of homework when it comes to looking for a spot to build in. But before I do that, oh, I don't think I have gunpowder to make more explosives. And I don't want to chill around with all of my things on me. It wasn't smart, but for the amount of ARB those turrets had, crafting up the explosives would be well worth it. Oh my goodness. The ARB was good, but there comes a time when you need to realize that certain things were never meant to be. Ah! It is turning me off so much, like, it's giving me so many second thoughts about sitting up in this spot. First I get raided in it, then I crash whilst on my way towards it, losing all of my things, and now this. Nah, in life you get a sign. And, you know, you first time, okay, yeah, it's fine. Second time, maybe a coincidence, but the third time, nah, 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 nah. I don't know, man, nah, <laughs> Ah, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't trust this. This is a bit sus if you ask me. It was about time I took a hint for once, and seeing as I still wanted to live in space, began searching for a new place to call home. I'd say something like this, yeah. So we have access to... We can go, if we want to hop over to the forge, boom. We can hop over to the forge. And not fall down like that and then that way we also can add way more turrets because it's wider i think yeah so i've slightly placed this a bit wider but i i sort of like it this way i prefer it this way Well, I finally had a base down, and the reason I don't sound as excited as I should be was because I was broke. No resources. Nada. Zilch. I was shitting bricks, as if anyone were to find my base, I'd be as good as dead. But on the bright side, knew just the place to get some. All I needed to do was pray my base would survive whilst I was gone. But if we take a closer look... Easy does it. Okay. Yeah, so we know the generator is all the way at the back there. And I think the pteranodons that he has, I might be able to use it to my advantage to line of sight. So I'm just gonna aim with the top. Here we go. No! Oh, I messed that up so bad. I actually messed that up so bad. I uh, I see spun, so I know in that area you can. Don't tell me I, f I made the bid, but I forgot to play. Oh my god. Okay, so the mistake I made, I see spun through, and then usually at the very top of that entrance you can make it through. But I saw the PT step back for a bit, so I thought, oh, now I have to go again. But it turns out I actually did make it through, and if I just kept on flying, I would have made it. But eh, I'm gonna have to find a way to get to my blood stalker, and then. I'm gonna have to get another PT. That should be out. Oh my, okay, that's gonna ruin Tammy effectiveness, but that's okay. What level did we get? We got a 196, but it is better than the other one, to be fair. Probably also has more HP. Oh man, the bowlers. It came so fast, the bowlers still there. Uh, let me just hop on this, get it some levels. Ah, oh, you know what, I'll just... There we go. Alright, let's get this Tyranodon. And let's go for a second attempt. PT there. Also all of my things on here. 
And now that we have a build, we can at least respawn back. Let's just have another good look at this. Oh. Yeah, there's our PT. I'm just gonna seep in a little. Let me see if I can get rid of this PT's body. This is gonna be risky. I'm just gonna go pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I see the outlet, it's right there. So many turtles are looking at me right now, and he has his PTs in the way. Oh, I don't have flak legs. I need to replace. Okay, I got a fresh pair of legs. Flame arrows! Wait, uh, do I have another crossbow? I don't. Oh! Uh. Oh my god. Should I just go for the grapple and onto the gen? I'm trying to think. Uh, no! Oh my god, we grappled his body, you've got to be kidding. Oh man, we made it in, but... We also broke the outlet, but there was another outlet. I'm gonna have to tame another PT. <laughs> oh man. Third third, it's definitely gonna be third times the charm. Surprisingly, we hit the outlet um, of the generator at the back. And not the outlet that's right behind the turrets, even though I was closer. It's knocked out. Oh, we need meat. No, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, come here. It seems we will never get a full effectiveness. PT. What? That's- oh, that's a play on a- Oh my god. Holy smokes. I'm almost dead. I am almost dead with that. If I pick him with my stalker, I'm just gonna die. Because he has the flamethrower, the flamethrower is just going to kill me. The fight was far too risky to take, especially seeing as loot-wise I was running on fumes. So instead, I'd look for another. Okay, I'm gonna knock this out real quick, tame it, and get out of here. Need to get back to the base. Alright, I'm just gonna creep through. There we go. Well done. Oh, we killed the guy as well. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go, man. Whoa, he has two- Oh, I just killed someone else. Oh, we just got another PT. Okay, that's all the structures destroyed. Let's get rid of the PTs. Nice. PTs taken out. Alright, two industrial forges. These guys are gonna be loaded. Mantis, let's go. I actually needed that to farm flint. To help my bullet farm. Alright, let's grab all these resources right here. Mantis, Doid, PTs. Um, I guess I will need multiple PTs if I plan on doing more raids like this. So this was the smithy I checked. Okay, cool. What is this? The generator will take the gasoline. Fabricator, I want to save. Chemistry bench. Uh, look, let's look into the on body. Some meat. Are those PTX? 
Oh, nice. A fertilized PT egg. Uh, I think, yeah, that was my other body. Alternaton and Fabricator, come on. Ooh. Okay, Polymer. I can actually... 26 element, wait, what? Crystal? So much? Paste electronics? Exactly, black poles? Oh, my electronics. I didn't realize how much over there. Oh my god, okay, this was fat. But wait, 26 element, where did they get that from? A magma so egg, silica poles? This riot set isn't bad at all. Like, looking at it... Um... Fiber hide? It's sh super cheap on fiber and hide. 286 dual legs, 462 chests. You just need polymer and silica poles, but if I do like one run... Oh, that's a nice chain, so... If I just do one run w with the bear on ab, I'll get so much polymer I'll be able to craft those items. Alright, and then the chemistry bench. Oh, my spark powder. Grabbing all that. Okay, I'm gonna place the C4 here. I know these are a bit buggy. But hopefully that will do what I needed to do. Okay, it did a lot, but... Oh, okay, we got rid of one forge. Nice. Is this his bag? And does, I feel like these got. Oh my god. Look at all that metal, that charcoal. What? Ah. Uh, holy smokes. Uh, I guess... I'll put the charcoal on my blood stalker. I would like to keep all the... I think because I'm slot capped, okay, no, my inventory isn't glitched. Oh my goodness. Wait, okay, we know they have a lot of charcoal. Let me take the metal first. I can't even grab all the metal. Uh, okay. Place the C4 there. Let's talk a little step back. I, I'm gonna have to come back. Oh my, okay. Considering the situation I was in, this base was the perfect target for me. So, I quickly head back to mine to depot and return immediately. Place it like right there. I feel like that's the optimal position to place the C4. Most efficient, use as least as possible. Okay, Bloodstoke is okay. That, that gave me a bit of a scare just there. Let's see how much ARB. Oh, okay. That, that's that's not too crazy. I mean, ARB is ARB. Always going to take it. But I was hoping for, let's just say, quite a, a lot more. Seeing as to how much spark powder, charcoal, and all those other resources they had. But I'll still take it. It's For the amount of C4 I'm spending, it's so worth it. Oh no, we do not want to play out this base. Oh, there's another turret there. Oh no, it's just a glitch, I think. I think, I'm not 100%. Uh, we'll, we'll check now in a second. Let's grab this ARB. Nice. Oh man, okay. Well, I guess you could say we have just the right amount of C4 to take out however many turrets they have. Very nice. Huge. This. Oh wow. That one we. Okay, that one we made a loss on C4. But overall, if you take into account <laughs> the amount of ARB we got for 3 C4, we made a huge profit, gunpowder wise. Alright, let's head back up. Oh man, this is just perfect because now I get to make massive, massive upgrades to the base. All it took was that one raid, and I was in a far better position than I'd ever be. Not only that, but I was also able to get an almost full Riot Blueprint set. However, seeing as I would need a ton of polymer to craft it, headed over to Aberration.
This looks rather interesting. Ooh, those are only autos. This is actually looking really, really interesting. Okay. So, with this spot, if you ever come and you ever find a base in this spot, you can actually get... Oh no, is my blood still glitching out? Okay, no it's not. So, with this spot, if you ever find this base and someone's built here, but you would like to get a view of what's inside their base, I believe this is it right here. After getting a closer look, I couldn't believe my eyes. Sure, they had a plethora of turrets watching the front, but towards the back, only a few. Now, the plan was simple of course. I'd stalk a dash past their main defenses. Chances are I would get shot a few times, but with the riot gear, no problem. Also, seeing as the base spot they were living in was on an incline, I could easily sneak underneath and disable the generator. However, as I mentioned before, would need to grab the resources to make the riot gear. Okay, the time is upon us. Gonna put pretty much my entire kit, apart from the rocket C4 and mid bruise, inside this Bloodstalker. I don't think there's anything else I'll need to keep on me, or anything else I might need, so... Let me toss out the Bloodstalker. Carefully put my entire kit, apart from the things I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need those rockets, actually. The rockets and the C4. Yeah. So I got rockets, C4, mid bruise. Uh, I guess I'll take the spyglass with me so I can check if he's online or not. Not that it matters too. I mean, it does matter a lot. But just so I know, so I can prepare myself. So I know if I'm dealing with a player at his base right now or not. Okay, he's still not at his base. Perfect. Okay, so, like I said, the plan is uh, to just shoot with the Bloodstalker. Aim for that area right there. And one thing I need to do, actually, is equip my rocket launcher. So if I equip my rocket launcher, boom. If I dismount, I'll have my rocket launcher out. Perfect. Because we're going to need to use this to get rid of that auto turret at the back. Alright, so here we go. Aim a little bit high, so if I get shot and the Bloodstalker cuts its wave, I should spear through in. Where's the gen? No, the Stigo. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna attract the attention of the player. Shit, I just gave the base owner a direct message that I was raiding him. Gotta wait for wreckage. I think I hear the gin. Is that everything down? No, that's his structures. Where's the generator? Oh, I see it. It's like back here. I'm like right underneath it. Okay, I think what I need to do... The Stego has calmed down. 
I'm gonna blow through here. Alright, here's the generator. Okay, gin down, gin down. Alright, let's let's grab the loot. We'll we'll check all the loot afterwards. Let's just grab every Oh my Thames. Holy Thames. Hello resources. Industrial girl. Player we killed. Didn't have anything. Oh my god. I cannot believe we just pulled that off. Alright, we need to head back. We need to grab our entire kit so we'll be able to defend ourselves. Let's go, man. This- Oh, what? I dashed past the turrets. I, I don't think not a single one shot me. Oh, no. This Stego. Why is Stego got to be a neutral? I should have brought my- The Noma crops. Let's get this ARB. So, Noma crops would have been clutch here for looting. Oh wait, there's structures here. Stor I forgot these were storage boxes right here. Uh, nothing good. In there, just a bunch of tribbies. Chitin, cool skin. Okay. Let me dip, 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 dip. Oh, players back. I think. Yep, players back. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he is not too happy. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to fight the guy. I do have all the loot on me. There's a bit of A or B right here. Yeah, my man is not happy. Let's see, does he know how to use the stalker? Picked him off. Couldn't land the bowler. Just swiping away at him. I should be able to pick him again, actually. He just got shocked by eels. No, I picked the wrong thing. Oh, I got picked. What? Okay, let me run. Evade. I just got picked by a crab. Way too close, and with both crabs and deals on my ass, I decided it'd be best to flee, as I had everything to lose, whilst this player little to nothing, yet everything to gain. Okay, let's go man. Alright, we made it back to base successfully with all of the loot. Can't wait to check out, we, I, I saw we got wyverns, we got PTs. And the cool thing is, we love on Genesis, so we're not able to fly them around, but we are able to breed them. Usually, a lot of the times, I love on Aberration. As for solo players, it is much easier, but this time, we're trying to live in, out here in the space biome. Alright, let's check out the loot. Firstly, bunch of silica, bunch of paste, good amount of polymer. I'm hoping electronics. I don't think we got too many electronics. Yeah, he didn't seem too rich on electronics. Let's check out his team. So, is this my Bloodstalker? I think this is mine. Yeah, I think, I think it is mine. Well, let me just type in Stalker. Oh no, we got a Stalker from him, I think. I, oh no, 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 that is my Stalker. Okay, never mind, never mind. Alright, so yeah, because the one I brought and the one I used to go into the base. So, we got a level 88 PT, a level 201 for C-Spins, level 233 C-Spins, 220 Tropical Wyvern, 113, and a 97. This is a pretty good Tropical Wyvern though. 
And I don't think they leveled anything into melee, so it could be a pretty good stat at Wyvern, which is always, always nice. The base almost had everything I was looking for. Sure, tames and resources, but blueprints, not that much. So, I decided to head over to Crystal Isles to get some. My first Crystal Isles drop and we get a Gauntlet's BP. 391 during the journeyman. Oh, let's go, man. I've been going through all the drops and uh, I think someone's farmed them, but I just noticed that one respawned. No way. 391 during the Gauntlet's. That's actually so huge because it's if you take into account our riot set. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> That, oh my god. Polovius, bro. Holy. Okay, and then this drop hasn't spawned in. Let's go, man. As I was saying. Oh, actually, let me just catch my breath for a second. Damn. That was a bit of a, that was a bit of a scare. But yeah, as I was saying, if you take into account the riot set, uh... That means the only piece of armor I'm really missing is a helmet. And we, wow, that's that's actually pretty crazy. Because I can comfortably make those uh, right pieces of gear without uh, costing me an arm or a leg. No way. Gotta kill the stalker, gotta find out. I just got a Giga BP. And because obviously I'm a solo player, I don't think I'd ever get around to really using a Giga. Unless I get it from a raid or anything, I'm most likely just going to trade it. Let's see, what did the stalker have? Nothing, really. He had a nice club BP I can use to trade. He had a flamethrow. A 220 Yo. Nah. No way. He actually has some nice flak BPs. Well, crafted flak from him is his uh, inventory, but... This pump shotgun. Oh, man. This pump shotgun right here. Well, let me tell you, it's like I didn't even have to try anymore. And before you think I've gone absolutely insane over some shotgun, let me explain. Usually, whenever I do play solo, I, for the most part, live on aberration. And seeing as farming a limit over there is an absolute pain in the ass, I tend to not worry about unlocking tech. However, now that I was living on Genesis, the element was nothing more than a teleport away, making the sky the limit when it came to tech. So. With the shotgun, I now had one opportunity to reach tick tier. Let's go, we can. I'm just gonna take all so I don't attract any attention. Oh man, this is huge. Alright, here we go. Bringing the frog with us. Frog into the boss fight. Alright, here we are. Once we're on the rock, we just jump, parachute. I make our way over to this ledge. Oh, I think it's... Oh, lag, okay, yeah. I was about to say we're falling a bit short here on that ledge thing. Okay, there we go. Yep, okay, definitely got his attention now. Wasted a few minutes, but hopefully we can make back for it. I think we should be able to. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Holy, it was that close. I just need to parkour. Okay, there we go. We made it. Now we just gotta pump. Pump like there's no tomorrow. I just gotta stand still. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna move. Oh my god, look at that rock. Holy. But this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. It's just a little bit of health lift. And then we, we, we gotta take out the Broodmother very quickly. We gotta get its attention. Come on. Go down. Die. Just die. Oh, on the last one. Nice. Okay, now we gotta get the attention of the Broodmother. Ooh, 220 alien. Nice. Alright, let's go find out where the Broodmother is. That should get its attention. Oh my god. Not now. Now is not the time to be <laughs> messing up. Okay, this should make it. Do not hit me. Oh. Uh, yes, we made it. I can hop down here. Oh my god. Look how much damage we're dealing. Yeah, once you take out the monkey, it's a piece of cake from there. Let's go, man. Oh, spider come back. Okay, yeah, now now time is actually of the essence. I think it's because we spent quite a bit of time uh, with trying to get the monkey's attention. Which is why this is coming so close down to the wire. Even our pump shotgun is coming close down to the wire, durability wise. But we will take down the spider, we will finish it in time. No, 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 unless it tries to do stuff like that. Do not go there. Now. Okay, I thought, I thought it would have went down. Hey, let's go. Oh, man, tech tier. Let's freaking go. A bit too close for comfort, but I got the job done. And with all of this element, I made sure to stash it away, grab some resources back at base, and crafted as many tech structures as I could to upgrade my base to take tier. Ooh, base is already looking pretty thick now just with those tick turrets added. I'm gonna do, so I did four at the bottom, now I'm going to do four at the very top because I want, I want all angles covered and accounted for. So let's have one like here. If you told me at the beginning of the day that I'd have a full tech base by the end of it, I'd call you crazy. But then again, here we are. And although it was getting pretty late, I still had one last thing I needed to set up that would assist me when raiding the bigger tribes. Hmm, interesting. But if some player... It has some sort of base going on here. What's my armor looking like? Oh damn. Okay, so, I mean... Should be fine. I should, I should be able to handle this. Ooh! That was, that was fairly clean. If I do say so myself. What does our mans have here? Oh, he... What level is he stalker? Ooh, it's a high level stalker. Is it on neutral? No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna leave his stalker. I will have to destroy his structures to see what's inside. Especially... Crazy as mouth sound. We'll have to check what's inside those refining forges, but... I won't damage his turrets all... What I'll do, I'll even turn it back on for him. Hopefully, I mean, it's gonna be tough. Not to destroy. Actually, I don't know if I can. I'll try not to. Oh, man. I really hope I don't destroy his, like, cabling or anything. Okay. Okay, yeah, forget <laughs> Forget about the whole- Oh no! Oh! 
<laughs> I forgot to drag. <laughs> oh, this is. This is better list. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. I am. Oh man. Shame. If I'll make a storage box. <laughs> Hopefully he sees I've left his stalker. I haven't dealt any damage to his poor stalker. And he comes back. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what we have here. Refining forges. Ooh, good bit of metal. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't planning on another raid, but upon reaching my destination, I had I come across it. And seeing as the base had a good amount of metal, it was well worth it. Okay, one thing that I need to do, I need to set up crops. There's a base here I'd like to raid, but I don't just want to raid that base. I want to take it over. I want to make it mine. Reason being, it has a good amount of space for breeding, which is something I'd like to do. It also has a good amount of space for crops, pretty much. It even has a water source inside, which is why I, I, I'm so interested in it. Imagine those websites where you purchase a car, but can add every single upgrade, all the bells and whistles. Well, that was the space spot. Only problem, someone was living inside of it, and as I mentioned, the reason I came here was for the crops, which in turn would produce a good amount of vegetable cakes. Place the water, the tap, connect the two. Does that work? Oh, nice. Okay, we got it to work. Sweet. So these, yeah, these should get irrigated. This one should be irrigated soon. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're all, they're all slowly getting irrigated. And then the next step is to simply have a pipe right here. And I guess because I want a nice view while I do my business, I'm just going to... I'll just, I, I don't know why I made two taps, I, I thought, I guess I thought it was necessary. But now I just do that, do that. And I'm gonna have to do that quite a few times. If I want to fill up, I have 10 crops. Meaning, yeah, 10, so it means I need to do this a hundred times. It took a while, but once I had enough, fold the crop plots and began teleporting back to my base. Little did I know, I was being watched, and all my crops would be no more as soon as I left. 